Hey. Um. Let's turn that off. Copyright, you know? I've done a lot of acting, and um, I was just thinking the differences in the types of acting I've done. I did uh, a lot of theater from like age 14. Started doing a lot of theater at like 14 years old, pretty much. I did a little bit, you know, in elementary school and stuff, middle school and all that before, but like really got into like acting, memorizing a bunch of lines, having a big role at like 14 years old. So for about 10 years, I did a lot of theater. I went to college and studied theater and acting there. Did a lot of stage work. Did 50 shows. I don't know how many shows I've done around there. Then I transitioned and started doing uh, camera work, and I started that off after college, basically once I got to Los Angeles and like when I was like 25. And I uh, did that for, well, I guess this, I'm doing camera work right now, talking to a camera, you know. Um, video, movies, film, television. Anytime you're working on camera, it's very different than acting. It's, it's a different kind of acting, because on theater, on stage, you have to project your mannerisms to people you know, hundreds of feet away from you. On, on camera, all you have to do is project your mannerisms to the camera, which is really different. The one similarity is that you have to face forward. You have to make sure that you're, you're kind of what they call cheating forward. And no matter what, you know, there's always at least a certain degree angle towards the camera. Like if I, I want to be sideways, but I'm kind of like sideways like this. And on stage, you can really cheat, in it, in it. but on camera, obviously it looks, you can see, you can tell if people are cheating on camera a little bit more. And um, camera's way, it's so, I guess you could call it way more of a subtle art. Theater, you know, you have the opportunity to explode on theater and just be as crazy as you want to be. On camera, you can also do that. But there's a subtlety to it. You can't fake it. It's harder to fake it. And th that's why it's easier for people that haven't done a lot of acting to jump into film because you're not, they've never faked it before. You know, part of theater is you kind of got to fake it to get it out to the back row. You got to show the big, you know, there's a, there's a showiness to it, which is why they say we're going to see a show. Um, and then there's the third kind of acting I've done, which is mu music, playing music in a band or playing music on stage, performing music. Music, you don't have to face forward because it's really, there's a, there's a definitely a performance aspect to it. And, and if they can see you, there's a good, but you don't have to face forward. It's not about what you look like. Music is probably the most subtle of all of them. Making a turn. I think with music, it's it's got to be so real. Like on film, you're playing a character. But you can get away with the, the the strangeness, you know. And music, from my experience, you cannot get away with that kind of stuff. It's it's either it is true and right on, or uh, it's not. And if it's not, people don't get into it. It's got to be like I was just listening to Billy Joel, and that's what made me think of it. That's odd. So there's just some insights on that, I guess. Uh, if I wasn't driving in the car, I'd probably get a little deeper into it. Cool. Yeah.